Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Friends, welcome back to our channel In this video we will discuss the function of pressure switch which is installed on the water reservoir its installation, its adjustments and all safety precautions It is an automatic pressure switch which will operate or disconnect the water pump at our desired water pressure We have to perform the adjustments and we will discuss how we can install, we can remove, how we can adjust. The first safety precaution, remove the electrical connection. We removed electrical connection, remove this nut and now remove the cover. Here are the electrical connections, line and neutral are connected to outer two points. The load is connected to the inner two points. So when it will make it will connect this line to the load and this neutral to the load and other issue in this wiring that is a safety there is no grounding there is no earthing cable installed so earthing cable must be installed for human safety and for the equipment safety so this wire is missing the earthing cable must be used we have to remove outer two wires now we have to remove the load, the water pump. So I remove these two wires and pull them out. This wire is for water pump. Now our this pressure switch is electrically disconnected and now we have to reduce the pressure. Because this time it is pressurized. Now I have to lower the pressure by opening the water tap so this reservoir must be empty we have to depressurize this water reservoir now we have to decrease the pressure from the water line and then it will save to open the switch now the water pressure has been released and the tank is depressurized we can use adjustable wrench to open it rotate it counterclockwise So the pressure switch is removed. When we discuss this pressure switch, there are different types. Of, so this is diaphragm based. I remove the screws. Here we have this fitting. This is diaphragm. It will stop the air and the air will press this lever to upward. The pressurized air will push this arm and it will shift the contacts. Always clean the diaphragm and clean the metallic plate so that there should be no seepage or leakage of air because the total function of this pressure switch is based on the air pressure. All the screws must be tightened properly and equally. Now we have to understand about the settings. We have two settings here. The first one is for system pressure. The second is working pressure or differential pressure. Let's understand what are these pressures. Now we will discuss the pressure settings of this pressure switch. Before setting to this pressure switch, we have to understand some pressure settings. First of all, to set any pressure switch, we must know the dead head pressure. What is the dead head pressure? Extremely maximum limits for any pump. At that point, the pump will damage. So never set any pressure switch at this limit. Always try to set before dead head pressure at least minimum 5 psi less than dead head pressure. For example, any pump have 80 psi. So we cannot set 80 psi. The maximum allowed pressure that is the maximum required pressure for our system. For example, the water pressure required in the home is 60 psi maximum. So cut in pressure and cut off pressure. These two terms are used to know the working point of this pressure switch. So cut in pressure and cut off pressure. First of all, cut off pressure or trip point pressure. When the pump is running, so at 60 psi this switch must trip off 
it should open so at 60 psi these points will open and then these points are open now i am releasing the pressure when i am releasing the pressure what is the lower limit at that time the pump will start again for example in pump specifications the maximum deadhead pressure is 80 psi so it is extreme dangerous limit we should never touch to this limit so we can adjust up to 75 psi it should be 5 psi less than the deadhead pressure when we we will start the pump at which level it should cut off for example we set at 60 psi normally these pressure switches are with 60 40 or 50 30 at 60 psi if the switch will cut off it will disconnect these two points when it will disconnect these points it will open this electrical connection to the load here is line and here is load so load will disconnect it from the line at 60 psi so 60 when we will release the pressure at 40 psi these switches will turn on again at 60 psi it will open and then it will remain open until the pressure will drop at 40 psi so at 40 psi it will make these connections again when it will make these connections again it is called cut in pressure or reset pressure so 60 40 this 20 psi window it is called differential pressure or if we set at 40, 50 psi for example if we set 50 psi the maximum pressure that time the 30 psi is the cut in pressure or cut on pressure or reset pressure here we have two type of adjustments one we have a big spring so this is the baseline pressure the minimum pressure we have to set approximately 30 50 or 40 60 first of all i will open this differential pressure setting it have one screw one spring and one washer this is differential pressure setting and this is our baseline our minimum pressure every one complete turn will increase the baseline pressure 2.5 psi if i will give a four clockwise turns it will increase 10 psi baseline pressure for example the minimum cut in pressure is 30 psi if i will give four turns clockwise in that case it will set 40 psi 40 psi cut in pressure then 60 psi will cut off pressure if i will adjust 40 psi cut in pressure these pressure switches have 20 psi differential pressure or working pressure Normally, when it is when there is no spring then it is moving easily we have to apply a force with this spring to set the minimum pressure the diaphragm will lift it up so this spring will press it to give a baseline pressure and the air pressure will push this shifting mechanism to upward to give a cut off pressure now we are going to install this pressure switch to install pressure switch this reservoir this water tank sometime it is filled with water up to any level so it have a very low space for air we have to provide a space for air so that the air will pressed and it will come up and it will pressurized air will activate this switch so we have before installing we have to remove the water level from this reservoir from this water tank so that we can remove open this union or we can remove this nut to remove the water from this pipeline and from this reservoir now i open this nut now we have to use teflon tape 
because it is a pressurized line Now I am going to use Teflon tape because here is high air pressure so there should no space for leakage. Now tighten it here. Now we have to make connection line and neutral are connected here and we have to connect the load the water pump wire here now we install this pressure switch and we made connections and now we have to adjust now I install this differential setting washer, spring and the screw. I did not tighten it. Now just in initial start we have to just press it. Now we can see this spring is loose. So we need to apply a tension because this time it is loose. We have to give approximately 4 turns. So it is disconnected automatically. So we have very low pressure here. So we have to set it. Now we have to increase some more pressure. So I will give approximately 4 turns clockwise to increase the pressure. When I will tighten this screw, 3 and 4, I have to wait until it will go in cut in pressure. It will shift this contact arm. I have to wait until it will shift. And then we have to wait until it will open. So this working window, differential pressure, we will see it. Now it started and we have to wait until it will disconnect. It is rising up. The air pressure is pressing this spring. Now it is open. When it is open, we will check the required pressure. And then we have to just and we have to touch this screw to the spring. Never tight this spring. Just only we have to give a touch. If we will tight this, it will increase the upper limit. Just this spring is free, so it should free. Just give a touch, so it is good. Now we have to check the water pressure. So that's nice. It is our required pressure. It is now releasing the pressure, and then. When the pressure switch will reach at its cotton pressure, it will turn on the pump again. So we have to wait. Now we have to wait until this shifting lever will go down and it will turn on the switch again. So we, ha we have to see the cycle. If this video is informative for you, give a thumb up. If you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe it. If you want to watch my videos in future, press the like button. And we are waiting until it will open again.
now it is rising up we have to wait until it will open so if we if you see that the pressure is high you can rotate it counterclockwise now it is good if the water pump is running continuously and it is not turning off that means there is some leakage in the air because this pressure switch operates from the compressed air which we are compressing by entering the water inside this reservoir this reservoir will filled with water and air will be compressed and it will come up when it is compressed air is reaching here it will press this diaphragm and diaphragm will shift this electrical hammer and it will make these electrical contacts and if it is not making contacts maybe the diaphragm is bad or the switch is or maybe from here we have leakage to remove leakage use teflon tape thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh